I wasn't planning on making an industry insight video for today, but some big news dropped in the world of digital pinball that is just too good not to mention here. So, right now you're seeing footage from Farsight Studios, the Pinball Arcade, with one of their tables, specifically a Williams one. And in the world of digital or virtual pinball, the two major developers at this time have been Farsight and of course the Pinball Arcade, and Zen Studios with the Pinball FX brand. Both have grown and established themselves to occupy different niches when it comes to digital pinball. Farsight has gone for more of a realistic model with digitizing classic tables like the one you see here, while Zen has gone out of their way to make original tables using their own simulation model. Now, as we've talked about before, for me personally, I prefer more of the realistic side when it comes to Farsight's games, or Farsight's tables. However, that is a discussion that's definitely too big for this little video. The big news that dropped has to do with an announcement that happened in the summer for Farsight. Now, we've talked before about the challenges of licensing video games, especially licensing copyrighted content for your title. And Farsight has always had an interesting challenge when it came to digitizing classic tables due to all the legal loopholes they have to jump through when it comes to acquiring the IP with major examples being when they had to do Star Trek, Twilight Zone, Adam's Family, and so on and so forth. And during the summertime, it was announced in a pretty big move that Williams and Bali, two of the most recognized names in the pinball industry, are pulling their licensing agreements from Farsight, which meant that a lot of their most recognizable and arguably best-selling tables were being removed from the Pinball Arcade. Obviously this is a huge hit for them and it caused a lot of discussions to happen on their forums and for what it means for the platform in the future. And during that time there was a lot of speculation regarding what would happen to these tables because it didn't make sense to take them off and remove them from ever from ever being available for being purchased and a lot of people were thinking that Zen was going to acquire them and lo and behold today that news dropped that Zen Studios has acquired the full back catalog from Williams and Bali to begin digitizing onto the Pinball FX3 platform now, obviously this doesn't mean we're going to be seeing every table on there in the next two to three weeks, but they've announced tables such as Fishtails and a few others that are going to be available on Pinball FX3 very soon. And that is some very big news. First off, definitely congratulations to Zen for acquiring that license. Zen has been doing their own tables now for I think at least a decade if we go back to the original Pinball FX platform. And for them to be considered recognized enough to get access to these tables is definitely a monumental uh, moment for them. With that said though, I am very curious as to what this means, not only going forward for the Pinball Arcade, but for Zen's own simulation model. As we've talked about, when it comes to the two studios, Farsight has definitely prided themselves on making as realistic as possible when it comes to ball physics and just the general play of these tables. With that said though, there have of course been multiple complaints and discussions regarding kind of the quality of the digitization as well as the emulation of these tables, along with issues with their own or with the Pinball Arcade platform itself, with people citing crashes, tables not working right, and long-standing issues that have not been corrected, as well as kind of the issues they or the tumultuous relationship, I know I just butchered that, that they had when they did the um, stern Pimple Arcade spinoff that everyone did not like. So the two big questions I think come from today's announcements are A, is the Pimple Arcade going to bounce back from this, like as no pun intended, and two, 
what is this going to mean for Zen Studios in terms of how these tables are going to work and how are they going to apply the physics when it comes to them? And the big reason why I'm asking that question is that, again, when it comes to Zen Studios, their big claim to fame have been original tables that you literally would never see in an actual pinball arcade, simply because of how they're designed and some of the crazy modes they have. But going into with these classic tables, are they going to make use of more of a realistic physics engine, or are they going to still use the same kind? Because if they do, that could be a bit of a hit, especially to some of these classic tables and how they play out. Now, I think this is a midway table that just popped up, but again, I think the point still stands that this is some very huge and exciting news, and it's probably going to shake up both companies in their own ways. So, with that said, that's all I really wanted to say. Again, I really wasn't planning on making this video for today. But let me know what you think. If you want to see more pinball action here on the channel, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, check back for daily discussions on game design here and on game wisdom, where he's in the art and science of games. Until next time, have a good day. Before we get to the credits, just a quick shout out to the supporters over on patreon.com slash gwviser. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to check back for our regular streaming most nights at 9.30, 10 EST, and you'll find a schedule linked down below. For a collection of my writings as well as audio casts on design, you'll find that at game-wisdom.com. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at GWBicer. If you're interested in hanging out and talking about game design topics, we have a Discord channel with the basic tier open to everybody, and that is linked down below as well. If you'd like to support us on Patreon, it is at patreon.com slash gwbicer. Your support can help to keep things going and growing, and you can earn rewards such as ad-free versions of our talks, votings for our specific Let's Plays and grab back streams, and more. But that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. I hope you come back for more great discussions on design here and on GameWisdom.com, where we examine the art and science of games.